my goals when I, I, I turned professional, I wanted to be uh, number one in the world. I wanted to win the U.S. Open, uh, be part of a winning Davis Cup team, and, and win Wimbledon. It was uh, two points away, I think, five or six times from, from kind of sweeping the board there. Um, but uh, obviously Wimbledon didn't happen, but I think those were such far-fetched, kind of pie-in-the-sky uh, goals. Um, you know, if you told me at any point in my life that I would have been able to uh, be a part of accomplishing one of those goals, I would have been ecstatic. Uh, you know, so while a lot of the rhetoric around my career is about Wimbledon and the one out of the four that, that I didn't get, uh, I think perspective is needed from myself, kind of looking inward. Three out of four of those is pretty great. My favorite memory from winning the U.S. Open is uh, that moment. Um, right when I won, um, I wasn't thinking about the 21-year-old version of myself in that present time. It, was, it went back to I was nine years old in 1991 at Connors' last run, and I would, I would sneak into the stadium every day and actually snuck into the players' lounge uh, one of the times. So to go from uh, sneaking into the, the, the nosebleeds when the stadium was at Louis Armstrong to uh, actually being the guy winning you know, and there's probably some kid up there in one of the seats that didn't pay for his seat either. <laughs> uh, it, it kind of came full circle, and, and so when I got um, emotional, it wasn't just about you know the selfishness of I'm um, a Grand Slam champion. It was kind of uh, kind of the emotion of, of, of kind of having that come full circle. Uh, the thing I'm proudest of regarding my career is. Uh, I think the way I went about it, um, I don't know that I'll look back at any matches and say, had I just given a little bit more effort, I would have won that match. You know, I, I get asked about regret a lot, and I obviously wish uh, the outcome of a handful of matches would be different, and it would probably define my career a little bit differently. But regret, in my mind, is a byproduct of process, and I, I'm, I'm happy with my process. I'm happy with the way I went about my career. I'm happy that I showed up and played Davis Cup as, as much as I did. I'm happy that. I was able to kind of stay in the top 10 and not really have those peaks and valleys for a decade. You know, so I'm, 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 I'm proud of those things. Getting inducted into the International Hall of Fame means uh, everything to me. You know, for me, I've, I've been such a tennis fan. I'm, I'm consider myself a tennis historian. I, I get so nerdy about uh, players from older generations and. Um, to kind of know that my career will rest, uh, not equally, but alongside those careers forever in Newport. I mean, it, it gives me chills every time I talk about it. So to me, I, I, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm humbled by it, and uh, I, I, I can't wait for, for it to happen.